Hi all. Today I am going to demonstrate the installation process of Sova Cloud Service. Now let's first proceed with the installation of Oracle Cloud Database. To install the Oracle Cloud Database enter the following URL in the browser and click enter. Now the Oracle Cloud sign-in page will appear, here enter the username and password of your account and click on sign-in. Here you can see the database cloud service page, now click on create service button to create a database cloud service. Here provide a database service name and its description and then choose the configuration details depending on your requirements. Once the configuration is complete click on next button. Here enter the password for the database and the click on edit button to provide the SSH keys. In case you don't have a custom SSH key you can choose create new keys and you can also download the new keys for further access. In my case I have already created the SSH key I will choose the keys using browse button. Now navigate to SSH keys location and then choose the file and then click on open. Now click on enter button. Here you can choose a backup storage, in this case I am not creating a backup. Now click on advanced option, here you can edit the listener port if you need. Once the configuration is completed click on next button. Here you can review all the details that you have selected which will be submitted to Oracle for provisioning of the database. Once you have verified the details click on create button to create the database. Here you can see that the service status which is under creation, it will take some time to provision the database. Now you can see that the database provisioning is completed. Now let's create a Sova service, but before creating a Sova service we need to create a storage connector for the backup. To create a storage container click on Oracle Cloud Services button as shown and select Cloud Storage Service. Here click on create container and enter the container name and then click on create. Now let's check the container details, after this go back to Oracle Cloud Services button and select Sova Cloud Service. Here you can see the Sova Cloud Service page, now click on create service button to create a Sova Cloud Service. Here provide a Sova service name and its description and then choose the configuration details depending on your requirements. Here click on edit button to provide the SSH keys here choose the SSH key file that we have downloaded before and then click on open and then again click on enter. Now click on next button. Here choose the service type and then enter a password for WebLogic server. Now enter the storage container name in the same format as shown, and then enter the storage server name and password, which is same as your account username and password and then check create store box. Now enter the database details as shown. After the configuration is completed click on next button. Here you can review all the details that you have selected which will be submitted to Oracle for provisioning of the Sova service. Once you have verified the details click on create button to create the Sova service. Here you can see that the service status which is under creation, it will take some time to provision the Sova server. Now you can see that the Sova provisioning is completed. Now let's first check the WebLogic service. To check the WebLogic service click on Manage Service icon, and then click on Open WebLogic Server Console. Here you can see the WebLogic server is up and running. Now enter the user ID and password and then click on Login. Here click on Server option to check our server status. Now you can see that the servers are running and are in perfect health. Now let's check the Fusion Middleware Control Console, to check the Fusion Middleware Control Console, click on Manage Service icon and then click on Open Fusion Middleware Control Console. Here you can see the Fusion Middleware Control Console is up and running. Now enter the user ID and password and then click on Login. Here you can see the Enterprise Manager homepage. Now let's check the Sova Composer, to check the Sova Composer click on Manage Service icon and then click on Open Sova Composer. Here you can see the Sova server is up and running. Now enter the user ID and password and then click on Login. Here you can see the Sova Composer homepage. 
Now let's check the B2B console. To check the B2B console click on Manage Service icon and then click on Open B2B console. Here you can see the B2B console is up and running. Now enter the user ID and password and then click on Login. Here you can see the B2B console homepage. Now finally let's check the Oracle Service Bus console. To check the Oracle Service Bus console click on Manage Service icon and then click on Open Oracle Service Bus console. Here you can see the Oracle Service Bus console is up and running. Now enter the user ID and password and then click on Login. Here you can see the Oracle Service Bus console homepage. That's all for this video, we will reach you soon with another video. For any queries please reach us at ofmadiaiesp.com.